The Fadon Becky led high level report panel on illicit financial flows from Africa revealed that illicit financial flows increased from $50 billion in 2015 to about $80 billion, with Nigeria contributing about 40% of such flows. With Africa in the eye of the storm of this financial disaster, the need to be proactive cannot be overemphasized. At this dialogue on the status of adoption of high-level panel reports within West African member states held in Abuja and organized by the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center in partnership with the West African Tax Administration Forum and Oxfam, the government of Nigeria and that of other member states have been told to rise up and nip in the board this lingering sharp practice. Just as Sislak revealed that Nigeria loses over $20 billion yearly to illicit financial flows. This report, both Nigeria and other rest of the countries in Africa will see reason to revisit this crisis that we are facing because since ever the report is released, it has not stopped, illicit financial flow has not stopped and it has caused damage to even the, uh, the value system in our countries. Our young people, we are losing them. Our experts, we are losing them. Every now and then you see young people living out of this country. Every now and then you see doctors, professionals living out of the country. And then those who remain here, who decide to join politics or not to do things that will help to bomb the country, they end up still supporting this uh, resources. Special advisor to the president on economic matters, Adeyemi Dikmeulu, explained some of the decisions and steps taken by the federal government of Nigeria. So the idea of transparency was that you know let's have company by company reporting. Show us how much you make in each country. You know let's have country by country reporting. Let's have project by project. So don't mix up the the returns from different businesses. Let's see what you make in each country. Let's see beneficial ownership. Who owns what? Have things like the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, uh, EIT, and you have the main team in Nigeria. Good. But some of those things were voluntary. They're not governed by global norms. And the idea was, let's have transparency. Once you have transparency, then it becomes difficult uh, to take illicit financial flows. While there are visible gains made on asset recovery, but if the war against illicit financial flows must be won, then the government must not fight corruption at the surface level. Executive Secretary West African Tax Administration Forum noted that those found culpable in all sectors must face the full wrath of the law, irrespective of religion, tribe and political affiliation. Corruption, corruption, uh, it's a usual scapegoat. We talk about corruption, but the question is, on my mind, uh, we've been talking more of corruption and we should be able to get tangible evidence of what we have done in tangible terms beyond politically uh, exposed persons. Because corruption goes beyond the boundary of those in government office. It's also in the private sector. And I can tell you even in families, corruption is also there. Revelation from the Pandora Papers sparked reactions in various quarters. But this tried by investigative journalists across the continent has not brought about much needed action from the government of Nigeria and that of other West African states. A situation Oxfam believes now requires the awakening of the consciousness of citizens. We really need to ensure that we also not just raise the awareness of the citizens to understand what this tax financial flow means, uh, illicit financial uh, um, flow means, but what the implication also is on their own uh, livelihood, on their own welfare. Because that is basically one of the reasons why many households, you know, are not living in dignity or are, are not able to afford, um, you know, basic uh, um, um, requirements for their, for their households. It is hoped that this dialogue will provide the requisite strategies for government in West Africa to forge a coherent continental structure to tackle illicit financial flows. Uluwa Tobi Eniton, Viable TV.